Quincy High School CTE News. I'm Andrew Archinian and I'm joined by Ms. McGinnis. Uh, Ms. McGinnis, what are some of the courses here at Quincy High School? Hi Andrew, well thank you for having me on. Um, there are 15 programs here at Quincy High School. We have uh, welding, plumbing, electrical, automotive, carpentry, um, engineering, uh, information technology, protective services, early education, healthcare technology, business technology. Uh, we have culinary program, we have visual design, and of course we have TV and film. Yes. Fifteen programs, wow. so that's wow. fabulous. Uh, what are some of the career paths here at Quincy High like? Well, um, you can take any of these programs and go directly into the field. For example, like welding, plumbing, electrical, auto, carpentry. You could take those courses and go directly into the field, but you could also take those courses and spin them into an engineering program. But no matter what, you always need additional certific certifications and licenses, um, and the hours that you accumulate here at Quincy High School can go towards a journeyman's uh, license. Um, but then you've got uh, programs like engineering and IT that give you a really a, a leg up on college, because those all need college degrees. Um, you have more academic court programs as well, for example, protective services early education, healthcare technology, or business technology, and that's more of an academic type of program. Um, and again, you can go, those usually require college educations. But then we have also uh, creative. So we've got culinary, we've got fashion technology. We have a fashion show every year here at Quincy High School. Uh, last year we had 130 outfits on, on the runway. Um, we have visual design and of course uh, TV and film. So we've got hard courses, engineering courses, Courses, academic courses, and creative programs. Uh, what is the uh, first uh, career that we're going to, uh, the career path that we're going to be highlighting today? To, um, today, we're, we're going to first talk about information technology, um, and the. The information technology instructor is uh, Mr. David McPherson. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. McPherson grew up in Quincy until he was eight years old. He has a BS from Indiana University. Uh, he taught English for 15 years. He was the director of technology for 10 years. Um, this is his second year at Quincy High School. So we are really fortunate to have Mr. McPherson here. Yeah. So that's what we're going to cover first. Awesome. So we actually have a clip for you right now, and we're going to roll that about information technology. Hi, I'm Mr. McPherson. I teach IT 1, 2, and 3. Those are three separate classes. One is for 10th grade, 11th, and 12th grade for each. each. Um, when you take those classes, you can get certifications in IT 1. Um, we go through IT Essentials, which is just uh, building, repairing, troubleshooting computers. In IT 2, um, you get an introduction to cybersecurity and networking essentials, just the basics of those things. And then for IT3, we go through cybersecurity, entrepreneurship, and network routing and switching, as well as uh, programming languages. This year we did C++ for that. Uh, some of the projects we do are, are building web pages, um, building computers, setting up and troubleshooting computers, and uh, setting up and troubleshooting networks. And then finally, um, we have outside speakers come in from cybersecurity um, organizations that come and teach us about those kinds of things, programmers, as well as um, technology field trips to different places outside of the school. Hi, my name is Samantha Pan. Why did you decide to choose this program? 
I chose this program because it was it wasn't like something very common that's like an option for most high schoolers and having this option you get to explore like things that you didn't know or things that you didn't know you could be a part of. So. What do you like best about this class? Uh, I like the class because you it's your responsibility to like get things done. You have the deadline, you know when the deadline is, but it's like you get to work at home or you can work in class. And so the more you work at home, you get to do more hands-on subjects in class. Hi, I'm Ethan Graney. Uh, the, the material can be a little bit challenging at times, so it can take a while to get. And it can, uh, you know, you can be slow to understand some things. Hi, my name is Donald Thorold. This career is so powerful. Uh, yeah, I'm going into cybersecurity once I go to college. Get a degree in that. But that just seemed like such a great course. Um, what's the next course that we're going to be talking about today? The next program we're going to talk about, Andrew, is uh, electrical technology. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Rodney Davis is the electrical technology teacher. He also grew up in Quincy. Um, he went to Quincy High School, but he was in an academic program. He was in the academic track. He was going to college. Um, so he never took any career and tech ed programs here at Quincy High School. But his senior year, he started working with his uncle, who was an electrician. And that's when he decided to become an electrician. Um, he worked for his uncle for seven years. He then also worked for Aldon Electric here in Quincy um, for Bright Electric. And then he started his own company. So he's had his own company for 20 years. Um, this is his 16th year at Quincy High School. And what's kind of interesting about this, too, is that he is the fourth generation electrician in his family. Mm -hmm. And his son is also an electrician, so that will be five generations wow. of the Davis family that are yeah. electricians. So Mr. Mr. Davis adds uh, great depth to our programs. That's awesome. That's right. awesome. So here we go. Um, we also have another clip uh, highlighting the electrical program. Here it is. My name is Mr. Davis. I'm the electrical technology instructor here at Quincy High School. Our program consists of three years where students come in as sophomores and begin uh, an apprenticeship that counts towards their hours that are required to get their electrical license. So electrical one is in the shop for one period a day on average. Electrical two is an average of two periods. Electrical three is also an average of two periods a day. Basically what we do most is work in the shop, uh, so we'll work typically four days in the shop and one day in the classroom. Uh, kids that are seniors and are in good standing have an opportunity, they have an opportunity to go out on a co-op. Electrical three students that are in good standing have the opportunity to go out on co-op, uh, usually after turn one. They leave at 11 and go to work and make money and uh, learn on the job real world training, which is great because you run into situations that you may not run into here in the shop. It's a great experience for the kids. We also have um, articulation agreement with Bunker Hill Community College where the students college credit towards the pro electrical program that they have there. And we also have a relationship with uh, IBEW Local 103, where typically they'll take two of our top students each year into their program, which is very competitive. I decided to take electrical freshman year, and uh, I decided to take it because I heard there was a lot of money in it, and uh, it just seemed like the easiest pathway for me at the time. I chose it technically before I even got to high school because I heard electricians made a ton of money and I like money. It's just how I am. I chose the electrical program in freshman year because I thought it was interesting. My dad's in uh, carpentry so I thought it would be nice to get into a uh, trade. What I like best about it is definitely uh, hanging out with my friends, just wiring everything. And like when the light bulb lights up, like it really just makes my day, it makes me feel like a great electrician. Um, what I like most about this class is the money and the people in it. I like best about the uh, kind of freedom to go on class and have some friends in the class to go. 
by the people. The teacher's a really nice guy, you know. Uh, it's great opportunities throughout life, and it's uh, very rare that high schools have a vocation along with it. Uh, probably the one thing that I hate about it is definitely putting on my boots every day. I think it's very unnecessary that Davis tells me to put on my boots. Yeah, that's a good question. What about the boots? Probably nothing. It's probably it's pretty cool. Well, you know, if you get in the classroom, it's, it's like an hour just to go work out the next part of it. You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to continue this career. I definitely have a lot of options weighing out for me. But, you know, it's definitely in the back of my head. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. Electrical is a great program here at Quincy High. I highly recommend it. And uh, I'm definitely going to continue this career. I'm going to join the union and be doing residential work. Probably open up my own business in like 20 years or something like that. Wow, that seemed like such a great program. Um, do you have any other final remarks to talk about any of these programs? Well, just a, a quick overview or a quick refresher. Um, in the IT program, we are Cisco Academy, so that's the the networking that we uh, th that we cover. Also, um, in the uh, electrical program, our students are able to go out on co-op, and if you complete all three years in um, in the electrical program, you have hours towards your journeyman's license. So th those are key. So w again, we're fortunate to have uh, so many different options available at Quincy High School for every student. Nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, that was CT News. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.